Hi kids, I hope you've been having a good week. Well, it looks like someone's coming over from the agency. Here he comes. Well, 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 if it isn't Froger. Hello. Froger, I have to be honest, I have a bone to pick with you. Louis LePan told me that you said some mean things about me when you saw him last. Well, I'm sorry. I was just mad at you. Mad at me? Why? Because when I was here last time, you didn't share any of your delicious food with me. Delicious food? What are you talking about? I don't remember having any delicious food around here. You don't remember those delicious flies that were hanging around on your wall last time? Delicious flies? Oh, Froger, this is all just a big misunderstanding. Most people around here don't even like flies. What? Don't like flies? The crunchy wings and the, and the delicious green ooze? Okay, Froger, we get the picture. No, Froger, people around here don't usually eat flies. So when you go through drive through they don't ask if you want flies with that? No, they ask us if we want fries with that. Our diet is very different. Does that mean that fly over there is up for grabs? Yep, any fly you see. In fact, you'll be doing me a favor. Thanks! Mmm, <coughs> extra oozy! You know, Froger, I wish you had come to talk to me about this earlier because we could have cleared up this misunderstanding between us. But in a way, it's good, I guess, because it leads into our Bible verse today. Here it is. Would you like to read it for everyone, Froger? Sure. In your anger, do not sin. Do not let the sun go down while you are still angry. Ephesians 4, 27. Well, thanks, Froger. What this verse is saying is that we should not hold a grudge or hang on to our anger for a long time. We shouldn't go to bed angry, but we should deal with our anger quickly. We should go to the person and gently talk to them about the problem we have with that, see if we can resolve it, see if we can make peace with them. And we shouldn't, when we do it though, we need to do it gently. We need to uh, speak in love and gently and, and not sin. That's why it says in your anger, do not sin. So. You know, don't punch somebody or yell at somebody, but try to make peace with them in a good, gentle way. And do, don't go hold on to a grudge. Do not let the sun go down in your anger, but, you know, take care of things quickly. And that's good advice. Well, let's try, kids, to read this uh, together a couple times. You repeat after me. In your anger, do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger. Ephesians 4.27. Let's say it again. In your anger, do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger. Well, Froger, I'm glad we were able to clear this up between us. Uh, it's good that we talked about it. It's just a good illustration how when we talk to people, we might be able to uh, settle things and maybe it's a misunderstanding or if it's not someone can say they're sorry or we can get things right so i'm glad we're uh, we're okay with each other now i'm sorry i got mad at you that's okay froger i forgive you you know it's too bad you don't like flies though because this place is a gold mine what with how you never take out the trash and those old gym socks over there? Okay, Froger, this is all on video. No need to air out all my dirty laundry. I think there may be. Didn't you hear what I said about those old gym socks? Okay, with that, I'll cl we'll close. Well, Froger, uh, aren't you going to jump and make a loud crashing noise now? Why would I want to do that? Besides, I saw last week's video. Didn't you do that? I did indeed, Froger. So, uh, which one of us is going to do it?